Hose, hose, hose. See you. says it's too early did you forget about today it's part of your community service you agreed to play santa again like you did last year remembers the beard fuck that I mean, that was a one-time things it's part of your probation and plus it's a good bit for the show you think we'd let you be on the show and not get shit in return pay your dues punk but why'd you call bowlegs i mean she let him be on the shows fuck him too i'm sending him over to be one of santa's elves really <laughs> No, he's black. We're too scared to tell him shit. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> well, but you know, you know, I've been feeling too well and everything. You know, I'm just, I really don't want to go down there and get the kids sick. Nice try. Uh, well, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed by this and everything, you know what I mean? But I got to go down today to see my parole officer about those molesting charges. I mean, I mean, you know I can't be about 500 feet close to those kids. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm allergic to bullshit. All right, well, check. Okay, okay, well, check this out. I mean, me, me and Bullnakes had some deals to take care of today's. You know, and we gotta go take care of that. And that's that. I mean, I'm not showing up. Okay, bullshit artist. You do what you want. Those kids are gonna be at your Uncle Hector's house in about an hour. So good luck not showing up. Your Uncle Hector will have your balls. Fucking lazy, fucking filthy sp Hey, yo, Bose, you know, hey, why don't you meet my Uncle Hector's house in about an hour? I gotta take care of something real quick. Whoa, whoa. One minute. Come in. Music lessons are over, Ruka. Music lessons? I thought you were selling lipstick. Oh, come on. Hey, Ruka. Why do you have to be in the other room while you said you were just selling lipstick? Because I had to demonstrate the new non squaring lipstick. <gasps> Damn. Po? Oh, what? Are you teaching guitars now? Skin flu. Your Uncle Straight G. Oh, you ain't said it. Nah, shit. Where's mine, Theo? Mijo, I had Miruka bring her daughter for you. You said you'd be here at 1 o'clock. 101 rolled around. I couldn't wait any longer. Damn, Uncle Hector. Got a big appetite. Hope I'm not hungry when I'm your age. I even got a souvenir. Damn! Damn. What is that, dental floss? Nah, underwear. Hey, man, we got to get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey yeah, so listen, Theo, we got to get going and everything. It was good to see you and all, you know, but we got to get out of here. Oh, yeah, by the way, a group of kids that come over here in about an hour, so you got to entertain them for Christmas. All right? Adios, bitch. Wait, what? What the hell is that? Just read them a story or something. But just remember, my reputation's on the line here. Okay, so to make it look good or something, some immigration officer knows I did the good jobs. Are you sure you trust your uncle to get your back with this man? Oh yeah, I mean, now I'm a favorite nephew, you know what I'm saying? I got the old man wrapped around my pinkies. <laughs> At least he should have kissed me. I like getting kissed when I'm being fucked. He wants a story, does he? I'll give him a story. Hey, you miserable, I mean kids, ready for story time? We want Santa. Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa. Well, you're not getting Santa, you're getting story time with Uncle Hector. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> <laughs>
We hate you. Welfare baby. Now listen closely, Joe. You just my grandson. <coughs> it was the day before Christmas and everything was whack. Always up to some bullshit was Bowlegs and the Cat. A gang-banging dealer and a rap artist G. Put them both together and two idiots you will see. Stereotypes and racist jokes you can enter here. Bowlegs with a watermelon and the cat with a taco. Washing it down with a Corona beer. While casing houses, Bowlegs was caught. But being a Mac, a lesson to the homeowner was taught. Bo was busy laying thick black chorizo to the homeowner through the night. Made Bo bust quick, cause the pussy was tight. When Bo caught up to the cat, he spun him a yarn. Bo shit at the cat, said he lasted long. Cat wasn't buying it, he called him on his shit. Told Bo he probably busted just from sucking on a tit. Not having a ride, the cat said they should go visit Faust. Knock him in the head, leave him on the couch. Arriving at Faust, they buttered him up quickly, distracting his attention by showing him some titties. Boys went joy riding in the streets of San Jose. Neighborhood, niggas gang banging, niggas go swinging, who's be hanging in the neighborhood? The grounds where I stood, west side of Eaglewood, it ain't always good. In the neighborhood, gotta keep a cracking, if a fool slacking, put him on his back in the neighborhood. <clears throat> the boys went joy riding in the streets of San Jose. On their way to see Tito, they think he might be gay. Showing up at Tito's house, they were a little suspicious. Started busting his balls, calling him delicious. Delicious? Tito exclaimed. Why would you call me that? Bole said we saw you in a dress. Your titties look fat. No, no, no. That was Cav's idea to put me in a dress. Have you seen him in one? He looks like the monster, Loch Ness. With things being explained, the cat and Bo were satisfied. Gave Tito a pound, and each said goodbye. Getting back into the car, they heard such a clatter. It was a long arm of the law, time to scatter. They ditched a ride and tried to escape, but they didn't get far, for they're both out of shape. Boys were arrested, each one a pinche dope. Now their biggest worry will be not to drop the soap. Hey yo, Uncle Hector's, how did it go? Chill, you doing right by his PO? Simone said, doesn't it look like they had a good time? Was the night before Christmas when all through the house. Who the fuck is this asshole? Hey, kid. Morning, morning. Y'all shame you goddamn self. Yeah. 
Welcome back, episode two. Another Christmas or Hanukkah if you a Jew. I smoke my mistletoe, fool. How about you? Henny in the eggnog for the LM crew. And as you know, the cat is on probation and community service is part of the stipulation. So Foster asked them to be claws again. And had them little kids kick him in his balls again. She so we passed it for his uncle to do. Who's pretty happy? Cause that's what a shot ahead could do. Had the cat in both legs stripping, cause not one but two. Was in the house with Uncle Hector. Now, who the hell knew? Then they went over to see Frosty for the bait and switch. Distract him with the porno mag and knocked out that bitch. Stole his car and hit the streets like a couple of thugs. Stowing gang signs out the window like they smoking on drugs. Damn, went to see Tito cause they questioned his manhood. Said he ain't gay, but he lie. I'm thinking the man would. Anyway, the boys head back to the G5. But the police seen them, so they broke out in a G stride. Hitting them corners like they still young and shit. But the pigs was waiting on them, now they hung and shit. Meanwhile, hit the toe. A mean Christmas story that had more dirt in it than an episode of Mort. So now you got false face down and ass up. With Bo and Cat hitting the lick they couldn't pass up. Tito burning all the skirts that he had up. And Uncle Hector's story fucked the whole cast up. So now, Jingle Bells, what the hell your motherfuckers gon' do next? Y'all need to go home and sip Patron, pass out after having good sex. Hey, Jingle Bells, help the show sales, cause a nigga straight up bro. So if I don't get paid real soon, I'ma rob Cap Man and it ain't no joke. Nah. <laughs> What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to fucking acknowledge it. Happy Christmas to all. Fuck you!